Free diving is free living, you know. In order to live free, you have to free dive. My name is uh, Vasilis, I live in Greece. I'm a free diving spearfishing instructor. I'm a passionate free diver in Spiro. When I have free time, you know, I have to spend some time underwater. Otherwise, I'm going to get bored and die. I'm 100% an addict, but it's a good addiction. It's something that helps me feel alive, you know. When I dive deep, straight as an arrow, it's the best feeling. There is no anxiety there. You get into that special trance and you lose yourself into the sea. You feel 100% connected with the sea and you forget about everything and your self-confidence uh, is really, you know, high. But at the same time, you stay humble and silent because otherwise it won't work. You know, it won't work. <laughs> Ταξιδεύεις απλά κάπως λίγο πριν ξυπνήσεις από ένα όνειρο, κάπως έτσι θα το περιέγραψεις. Νιώθεις να το πούμε τη δημοκρασία, να μεταβάλλεται. Όσο η βουτιά σου αρχίζει και βαθαίνει, αυτή η πίεση σου δημιουργεί μια ωραία εφορία. Αυτό είναι το εθιστικό στην όλη υπόδεση και γι' αυτό όταν το ξεκινήσει κάποιος κολλάει. I use some special breathing techniques and meditation in order to be really relaxed and flexible into the sea. I truly believe that if you love something, you're going to do something for it every day and the result will be good. So you have to like it first, you have to love it and you have to get emotionally connected with what you do.
the more you give, the more you will take back. The more consistent you are, the better the result. What I consider to be the greatest strength in life is not to give up. You have to change your whole way of living in order to be in the sea. Your lifestyle has to be really calm and uh, relaxed and in peace with the environment. If somebody manages to do this, it will automatically lead him or her into a very, very good result into the water. And this is very rewarding. It's very rewarding for me as a teacher. Because I can help other people change their lives and this is really, really dope. This is super. This is 100% my goal of life. The main thing that characterizes Vasilis is that uh, he has an ability to communicate with people. And uh, he has the ability to take the best out of each one of us and each one of our people that we train and uh, always to make them feel comfortable and give their best. Vasilis is a very good technical trainer, but he's also very, very, very good at the emotional side of freediving. He's very in tune with his emotions and other people's emotions, and he relates on an emotional level, which makes him a good trainer for somebody who is emotional, like me but obviously he's also an extremely good technical trainer. He's tough, but he's not too tough. He knows when to encourage, he knows when to push, he knows when to stop. Every individual is something different. The key factor in order to teach someone effectively is to understand his abilities, his mentality, and let's say his talents so that you can unlock him and make him react to your um, instructions and to the knowledge that you want to pass to him. And Vasilis does this in a perfect way. I'd say he has a different relationship with every one of his students or every one of his partners. Actually, with him, you have to open up a little bit. You have to tell him like what's going on. It makes it a more comforting experience because it's already a physically demanding experience and a psychologically demanding experience, but he's quite comforting in that sense. But again, he's very good technically also, and it's the combination that makes him a good trainer. and uh, Manolis is an extremely good, direct, clear, technical trainer. And actually Manolis and Vasilis are very different kind of trainers. It's very good to have both. Honestly, freediving is about both. It's about the emotional side of it and the physiological and the technical side of it. It's a 
να οργανώνει τα σχολεία. Ένα άνθρωπο με ατέλειωσε τι μπαταρίε. Πραγματικά. Everyone has his own way of uh, learning. The fact that determines the way or the, the pace that somebody will learn is how much aware of his body and his uh, mental state is. How much ability he has to control his mind and his body, that's it. It doesn't have necessary to do with, you know, physical condition. It's more of physical awareness than condition. That's where these guys are very good because they're very structured and they keep it very safe at all times and make sure that it goes step by step and so that you truly understand what's happening with your body when you go down and how to control the things that are happening with your body. During the procedure of the dive, but also a little bit before and also a little bit after the dive, without any great effort, you are focused only to the matters that they do matter the most. You cut out everything that is not important and you focus to yourself, to your body, to the environment that surrounds you. You only do what you have to do in order to perform you know, to the maximum, that's it. Freediving is also counterintuitive in the sense that you have to surpass the physiological signs that your body gives you and also learn to control yourself physiologically. About the physical part, you have to be prepared. You have to be in good shape. You have to be able to, let's say, translate the signals that your body gives you and uh, try to have a good performance in an athletic way. So it requires almost everything that a demanding physical activity demands concerning training, diet, sleep, etc. About the mental part, what I want to say is that it is one of the few activities that uh, require mind and body to be so much connected. During a dive, what happens is that at some point, body reaches a certain level that lacks of oxygen, lacks of vital things. The only way to overcome that is by putting the mental focus and effort in use. It's something that it is unique. It's something that requires, you know, a very good combination of the two factors. And that's why we talk about it being a philosophy of life, because it really is. It's the control of the self and surpassing not only your physical but your psychological limitations. You're just a human trying to negotiate a force around you and it makes you become a bigger person, I think. Yeah, it's about rising above yourself, your own limitations, and the psychological limitations that you impose on yourself instinctively or consciously. One of our last um, training sessions, actually, Vasilis and I were talking about this because I came back up from the surface and I said, you know, this sport really makes you um, face your demons. When you're alone, which is exactly what you are when you're in the sea, everything that is in your subconscious or in your conscious self, you're not able to distract yourself 
and forget about it. You know, there's things that we carry every day that we don't really pay attention to because we're distracting ourselves with other things. When you're in the ocean, there's nothing but you and yourself. And in that sense, it does make you face your demons because when you're there and you're feeling certain emotions and then things pop up in your brain or you feel a fear or a panic or an anxiety, and you're like, okay, where is this coming from? What happened to me today or yesterday that makes me feel anxious today in the sea? And, and that is truly what happens. It's a psychological process. In the end, you're really alone with yourself, which is the most beautiful part of it, actually, when you're underneath the water and all you hear is the sound of the depth, I guess, and there's nothing there but you. And you really have to face yourself and, and what you're capable of doing and you have to be okay. You have to deal with the other stuff. It's something that encompasses your entire life, your body, your, your physical abilities, your fatigue that day or yesterday or what you did the day before or what you ate or what happened to you this morning with your mother or all of these things at once. Because in order to have a good dive, you have to be okay. Otherwise, you can't do it. I think that's what people are so into free diving, those that are, is that it's, it's the psychological aspect of it. To go above yourself.
Free diving is an activity that uh, everyone could and according to my opinion should try. When we refer to free diving, it's not only about deep free diving, but also free diving in shallow water, snorkeling or, you know, just having fun in, in shallow water and enjoying that depth and that environment. This is the first experience that someone gets. When he becomes familiar with that, we proceed on going with him in deeper waters and doing deeper free dives. You will be surprised how many people, uh, when they enter the water, uh, they do not believe that they can do it, but finally they somehow they manage and we lead them to, to find the way. They manage to, to enjoy and uh, find a way to dive deeper and in a very nice way. I started free diving in Amorgos, actually, which is like the best place to start free diving because the Grand Bleu was filmed there. And to be very honest, I don't know what drew me to free diving. It just happened. I mean, I really loved everything underwater and anything deep sea, and I liked being underwater, but I didn't have a particular draw to free diving or apnea in general. I don't know, it came up sort of like a miracle, to be honest, like it just, came to me and actually it was very funny because when I went the guy was like why do you want to do this I was like I don't know he's like are you a swimmer and I was like no he was like have you ever free dived and I was like no he was like do you know how to swim <laughs> I was like yes I know how to swim and I loved it from the first second I don't know it felt very natural to me You don't have to be a champion in order to consider yourself as a free diver. You should uh, have the mentality to enter the water to enjoy the water, to try to combine the physical activity with the mental you know, state that is required. And step by step, it is a, a journey, it's a travel that you don't know where it's gonna lead you. Some of us are meant to be free divers, uh, let's say, just like normal people. Some of us are meant to be free divers in a competitive level. Some of us are meant to be free divers in a champion level. Believe me, being a person that passed all these three levels, I remember myself enjoying the most when I was on the first level. So I strongly suggest everyone to, to at least try once.
I respect champions and good sportsmen in general. But uh, I mostly respect uh, the guys that they want to get into the game. And uh, the guys that they think it's really hard and uh, they can actually understand within a few days or a week that it's not uh, impossible to dive to 20 meters in a safe way. You don't need to be a super athlete in order to get into the game, you know. You just need to be healthy and uh, have a good approach towards the sea and the nature in general. I think anyone can do freediving if they're willing. If they're willing, yeah, of course. I mean, there are people who are more anxious and people who are more susceptible to panic or some people who don't like the sea. But yes, I think anybody who wants to do it can be able to do it and with quality instruction, obviously. That's actually what freediving is, is learning to have a mature relationship with the sea. But having a maturity within yourself, which is hard for people to do outside of the sea, but the sea forces yourself, it forces you to gain a level of maturity, of patience, of awareness, of self-awareness, psychologically and physiologically, that people don't even realize that they that is important, actually, in order to be a mature and stable and calm individual. That's what the sea has brought me, anyhow, and that's what freediving has brought me. It's forced me to confront my own impatience with life and slow down, and in that way achieve, well, both better performance in the sea but also a, a great deal of inner calm, actually. I would say that I feel more self-aware than most people, and I think that, that I would speak for most freedivers when I say that, that there's a level of self-awareness that you have to have about yourself. It's like Ithaca, you know? It's the, it's the road to Ithaca. It's the journey to Ithaca. And if you arrive to Ithaca, fine, but it's, that's not the point. The goal should not be like pushing your limit constantly. The goal should be to arrive comfortably to wherever it is that you arrive. So the journey of learning and getting psychologically and physically to a place where you're comfortable at slowly in time is the point. If you say, I want to go to 70 meters, you're going to end up shooting or trying to push past your limit in a way that in any case is unsafe. And that's not really the point. The point is to be able to do depth or apnea to your capacities and in the best way possible, slowly. <laughs> As a free diver who has uh, been already in different dive sites all over the world, I can uh, easily say that Greece is a unique place that uh, somebody has to at least dive once in his lifetime. Because of the clarity of the waters, of the temperature of the water, the seabed structure which has, you know, underwater mountains, uh, rocky places, and seabed with uh, 
a lot of grass, sand. Somebody could think, okay, this is something common. Believe me, having the experience from all over the world, it's not. What we live here is unique, it's not common. Θεωρώ ότι είμαστε πολύ τυχεροί που τυχαίνει να ζούμε σε αυτή τη χώρα διότι υπάρχει μεγάλος υποθαλάσσιος πλούτος. Ένα τέλειο πάντρεμα βουνού και θάλασσα. Έτσι υπάρχουν πούμε, κάποιες πλαγιές που κίνονται μέσα στο νερό. Overall, it's a, a perfect place actually to learn to free dive. For people in the European Union and for people in America and for people all over the place, not just the European Union, Greece is an ideal place to come to learn to free dive. And to be honest, even to just explore Greece, it's quite interesting to explore Greece underwater, have a different perspective of Greece. Come see what real Greece is and come see what it's like underwater and come see what, you know, what locals do and what, what real freedivers are doing and how they experience the sea. Crystal clear waters. Warm waters, nice environment, nice reef, the Aegean Sea, the Onion Sea, a lot of beautiful islands to visit. That's why you have to visit Greece, that's why you have to free dive in Greece, that's why you have to spear fish in Greece. You can also rent a boat or a sailing uh, yacht and you can sail all over the Aegean, it's really fantastic. And stop whenever you want and do free diving and spear fishing.